Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Tricks Info. Today let's learn how a waste gate turbocharger exactly works with the help of this diagram. As you all know, a turbocharger is used to increase the power output, increase the efficiency and also reduce the emission level of a diesel engine compared to a naturally aspirated engine. And a waste gate turbocharger consists of the turbine on this side, you can see this is the turbine, then we have a compressor then the waste gate valve mechanism and this entire unit is mounted on the top of the engine so now let's see how it functions you can see here this is the exhaust manifold is connected towards the turbine so when the hot high pressure exhaust gas enters the turbine it results the turbine to rotate so it gives a power to the turbine and the turbine starts to rotate and the exhaust gas then escapes to the muffler and goes out towards the atmosphere. So as the turbine starts to rotate, it's connected through a shaft towards the compressor. So this is a compressor unit. So it powers the compressor. So as the compressor starts to rotate, you can see this is connected towards the air cleaner. So it sucks the air from the atmosphere from the air cleaner and it compresses the air. So that compressed air is then supplied to the intake manifold of the diesel engine. As we all know that air is one of the major component in creating combustion in the diesel engine. So here, compared to a naturally aspirated engine, we will be getting more compressed air into the intake manifold because we are sucking more air, compressing it and giving it to the intake manifold. Whereas in a naturally aspirated engine, it just sucks the amount of air which it is possible to get. But here, a more volume of air is being sucked in and given into the intake manifold. That means here in this engine, a turbocharged engine, it is capable of combustion of more quantity of fuel. And also the percentage of incomplete combustion can be reduced to a greater level. That means in natural aspirated engines, there can be incomplete combustion. Maybe the full amount of fuel which is supplied in the naturally aspirated engine cannot be burned because of insufficient presence of air or oxygen but here as we have sufficient air or oxygen the incomplete combustion can be reduced so the engine efficiency can be increased to a greater level in a turbocharged engine now let's see where the waste gate valve comes into picture in a waste gate turbocharged engine so as i have already explained here the compressor is sucking the air from the atmosphere and compressing it and giving it to the intake manifold so here we have more pressure so if this pressure increases above the recommended level that the engine can hold it may overload the engine that means when the compressor compresses the air and gives it to the intake manifold it goes into the combustion chamber and this pressure if it exceeds above the recommended level of pressure that the engine can handle that will overload the engine so to avoid that at this point you can see at the inlet manifold it is directly connected like this see this line is directly connected going towards the valve this is the waste gate valve and this is installed in the exhaust circuit just before the turbine so you can see so here this intake manifold if the pressure the combustion air pressure exceeds that pressure gets reflected in this swing valve so you can see the swing valve here that pressure we can sense and here this is the waste gate valve which is connected to the exhaust manifold here this red one and here it is closed right now so when the pressure here at the intake manifold exits that pressure comes like this through this line and acts on the swing valve so when it exceeds the recommended level what happens is that here it moves because of the pressure resulting in the waste gate valve to get open. So the waste gate valve here opens up. What happens due to that? This port gets connected. That means the exhaust line gets connected. Here we get a direct opening. See? So what it does is that the exhaust air that is coming from the engine is being bypassed towards the atmosphere. See? The waste gate valve just got open. So the drive for the compressor is given by the turbine. So the exhaust gas coming and hitting the turbine is reduced here. It is bypassed here. So the air is not directly going to the turbine. 
some air goes to the turbine and the rest is being routed directly towards the atmosphere thereby reducing the speed of the turbine which reduces the speed of the compressor that will directly reduce the pressure of compressed air going into the intake manifold and brings down that pressure towards the recommended level of pressure which can be handled by the engine. So here with this graphical representation you can clearly understand the opening and closing of uh, the waste gate valve. C is a region where the waste gate valve actually opens. So you can see the region here that is X, B, A and this region is X is a region where the waste gate valve is closed. In the X axis we have engine speed, Y axis we have supercharged pressure that means the compressed air pressure. So here the compressed air pressure is below the recommended level so the waste gate valve is not getting opened up. And when the engine speed increases and the supercharged pressure increases it goes beyond C that means Y is the region where the waste gate valve is activated and it is getting opened up. So this point C from here onwards the waste gate valve starts to open up corresponding to the engine speed and the supercharged pressure. So we believe you got an idea about the working of a waste gate turbocharger. We will be uploading more such technical videos on a daily basis. So please click the subscribe button to get more technical video updates. You can like, comment or share this video in social media to motivate our team. Thanks for watching this video. Have a great day.